Hi everyone, it's Carrie, and welcome back to my channel. This weekend we are staying as a family at the Hardesty Lake Campground. And so we're gonna take you on a little tour of the campground, let you see what the beach looks like at Hardesty Lake, and hopefully you have a feel of what Hardesty Lake Campground is all about. Let's go take a tour. The town of Hardesty is located in the heart of the rolling hills of the Battle River Valley. Hardesty is a two hour drive from Edmonton, Alberta. Hardesty is also where my husband had swimming lessons as a child and so when we as a family decided on a location where to camp this summer, Hardesty was the campground of choice. Hardesty Lake Park and Campground is a quiet, well-treated park and the campground is nestled between Hardesty Lake, all within the town limits. Here you can relax on a sandy beach, swim in the clear water, or go for a walk around the lake. There's a playground for the kids with lots of room to run. Located within the park is a complex, is a beautiful public golf course, baseball diamonds, and rodeo grounds. The campground has 58 camping sites available, including seven group sites. 51 of the sites at the park and campground are full service and the rest have power. It's $25 for no power, $30 for power only, and $35 for power, water, and sewer. Tenting is $25 per site as well. To book the campground, you can either use an online link or call their phone number. The Hardesty Lake Park and Campground is operated by the Agricultural Society and is open from May 1st to October 1st of each year. There are two gate entrances to the campground and they are locked at night from 11 p.m. to 8 a.m. for security. One thing interesting to note is that there were actually cabins situated throughout the campground and so people can have a cabin year-round at the campground if they own property on the site. There's also an overflow area located right next to the campground at the Hardesty Rodeo Grounds. And this is normally used for group bookings like weddings or family reunions. And there is power for 20 units in the overflow area. It's quite easy to get a little bit turned around in the campground. So we're just gonna drive you through so that you can see what the lots look like and how much trees there are. That was one thing that I really appreciate this campground was how big and dense the trees were. So you felt like you were in your own private campground with your neighbors far enough away. Now this is the back entry gate into the campground and it takes you right to the public parking where you can access the lake at. And Hardesty Lake offers a beach, a boat launch, motor boating, canoeing, and there was two different docks so the kids could access. One thing I loved was the covered shelters that while you were sitting there as a family enjoying the beach, you also had great coverage to keep you shaded from the sun. And we as a family really enjoyed that option. So the beige building right in front of us is the beach washroom and inside they also had showers but you did need a passcode in order to use them and only campground users have that passcode while they're staying there. And then as we come a little bit further up there is um, outhouses onto your right there and directly ahead is another washroom, a shower house that is available to the guests of the campground. So checkout is at 1 p.m. and check-in starts at 2 p.m. All vehicles and trailers must be within the site boundary or parked in public parking. 
Pets must be kept on a leash at all times and they are prohibited to enter or remain in any swimming area. There are no all train vehicles allowed in the park, no fireworks permitted, and wood is for registered campers only. Also, there's no swimming allowed after dark. The boating is permitted and that is from the boat launch which is located across the lake. So the park includes a playground, large picnic area, firewood for sale for the campers, showers and washroom facilities, swings on the beach, three gazebos for shade, there's a trailer dump, and ice is also available at the park warden's office. The park regulations are that there are no boats allowed in the park, and there's no littering, no noisy activities in the park after 11 p.m. The speed limit in the campground is 15 kilometers an hour. There's daylight swimming and boating only. No all-terrain vehicles are allowed in the campground area, and dogs must be always kept on a leash, and no dogs are allowed on the beach. And this was our lot A12 in the A loop. And as you can see, it has tons of space for our camper to go with a picnic table. In the back corner there is the power plug-in and the water and sewer, which is so nice. And for only $35, which to me is a great deal when it comes to camping and having all those amenities. So here's one last look at that huge campground that is available for your kids to enjoy if you choose to come camping at Hardesty Lake and Campground. Thanks for joining me this week. Hopefully you enjoyed the tour. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I post new content once a week on Wednesdays and I would love to have you as a viewer. If you enjoyed this video, you probably really enjoy my campground review of the Old McDonald campground. It is something that's also campground that's nearby in central Alberta that lots of families love to go to. It has a little more amenities than the Hardesty one does, but it's another great video that I'm sure you enjoy. So just click on this next link and you can watch that next. One last look as we turn to say goodbye to Hardesty Lake. And on the left, you see the entrance to the Hardesty Rodeo Grounds.